Friends, before we start, I want to heartily thank Prashant for providing his exquisite black finish for this endeavor. I hope you watched my earlier video on champion Irshad Ahmed Ansari. Like Irshad, Prashant uses the full locking grip. That is, he locks his index finger with his thumb and his little finger. I hope you also watched my video on Nishanta Fernando in which I have explained the morphology of the index finger. Index finger that consists of three phalanx, the proximal, the middle and the distal. The reason I am reiterating this is that I will be asking you to watch the middle phalanx of Prashant extremely closely. Let's analyze Prashant's black finish. First comes a punch or slip, second an effortless double, third he brushes the black coin and hooks the queen. Observe in slow motion the power that he has generated to successfully pocket the queen and bring the black coin back in his half of the carom board. Fourth is almost the same shot, a brush plus hook. In slow motion this time, I want you to particularly watch the tension or energy that he built in his middle phalanx just before the release. That is the principle behind the power that he generates on particular shots. Fifth is this beautiful touch shot a perfect synergy between power and accuracy and also his own understanding of it, which can only come through repeated practice and accumulation of carom intelligence. Sixth is a simple straight piece. With this, we come to the grand finale or the final and seventh shot, a thumb or base hook, which tells us a lot about the robustness of his fingers. Don't miss the champ giving us a thumbs up at the end. Let's watch same in its real speed. For me, it's like a cheetah in full action. What say? The very first aspect of Prashant's grip that you need to understand is his ability to create this tension or energy in his index finger as per his needs. You can observe his index finger you know, before the release. Sometimes in some shot it almost becomes like a C in some particular carom shots. As if the distal, the middle and the proximal phalanxes are representing three sides of hexagon. The second aspect is his ability to make his grip so compact. He uses his middle finger to position his striker before every release, be it for a straight piece or a double or a hook. I feel that the difference in length among his different fingers, especially his longer middle finger, helps him to do it with utmost ease. Otherwise, it will be almost impossible to convert so much of potential energy from his grip into kinetic energy onto the striker so smoothly. The third aspect is almost a cliche. I feel his fingers entail perfect harmony between robustness and flexibility, allowing him such carom jugglery. Friends, if you can copy some of his aspects, Feel yourself lucky and copy them. If not, find what nature has offered you to incorporate some of these aspects in your own way. And if still not, well appreciate this awesome Karam Champion on YouTube. Thank you.